I am not worth your vengeance, Father. Why do you fight? fight? We will be together soon. Forever. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dark Game Channel. I'm AJ Gels. Guys, we are back with Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This should be the final part of this uh, kind of bare bones series. Sorry, I know I didn't play the, the full game in its entirety like I like to do. You know, I like to play very deep into kind of like action adventure, pseudo RPGs like this. Not really pseudo, this I guess you would call an RPG. Either way, I like to play really deep, but we'll be doing that with Shadow of War. I just wanted to give you guys kind of the story and the setup so that when Shadow of War comes out on the 10th, uh, we'll be all ready for it, and I am super pumped. I, I've been waiting really long for this game. Um, I mean, when I heard this game was getting a sequel, I was excited, but then when I saw like the, what they were doing with the Nemesis system, with the forts, and it really looks like building an army is more than just kind of like getting the war chiefs and all that, and that was like a fun little meta game. But I think this is going to, it's going to be even, it's going to be so much deeper and so much more fun this time around. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, also, especially because I think uh, it's supposed to be a little different every time you play aesthetically. Maybe not really concept-wise, but the um, way everything looks will be different each time, and I like that. So that's a... Yes, I know, I was talking really fast to get through all of that in that little load screen. But uh, either way, let's go after the, um, the Black Hand. Is that his name? I can't remember. The Grave Walker! Oh, that's right, I didn't, uh... I didn't, uh, conquer these war chiefs. Grave Walker! They say you gave the witch on the shore her freedom. The freedom to die with her people!
Yeah, he doesn't. He he uh, he doesn't like pain. Fourth hand, or fourth, fourth Allen, whatever his name is. Oh, oh well, I didn't like him. He killed me a lot. And I'll be only too glad to supply. Bring it, butt face. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh crap, that was one of mine. Oh god, that was one of mine. Traitors! Traitors weak! Udo strong! Was the third. Would you see me beg and squirm for mercy? Never! No. I would see you die. So beheaded him. Get the Matrias! This will finish as it started with shadow and flame falling on the Black Gate. The Hammer and the Tar are dead. Sauron is still weak. Without the power of the One Ring or the Ringmaker, he cannot take form. He will be trapped within Mordor, no more than an eye of flame bound. like Anakin from episode 3. God, I hate Aiden Christensen.
Excalibur lore. And to anyone who wants to tell me that the Phantom Menace sucked and that they hate Jar Jar, you can screw off. Jar Jar was awesome, and so was the Phantom Menace. <laughs> I know that is going to give me so much hate. And also I know it's gonna get me hate that I'm playing Lord of the Ring I'm playing a Lord of the Rings game and I'm talking about Star Wars. Though I will defend myself with this. The Phantom Menace was the first Star Wars I ever saw in theaters. I was five years old. It was in 1999. Kicked ass. <laughs> that face when he saw the ring go, that was just the face of, oh shit. <laughs> Crap, how'd I not remember that ending line? That's awesome. How the hell did I forget that? Guys, that is... Or has been Middle Earth the Shadow of Mordor. I really had fun. I, I really do dig this game. I think it was a lot. I think it's really cool. I like the lore. I like the world. I like Talion. I like Calabrimbor. Uh, the me the Nemesis system, the combat, everything. I think this game was top notch. Super fun. I might not have given it a 10 out of 10 just because, like I said, that kind of. Once we got into. Um, I can't remember the place near the water. I, I, can, I can never remember. I, I want to say it's like Nernin, but I'm probably wrong. 
once we get there, the game did kind of speed up and it just, it, it felt rushed. It, it didn't speed up in a good way as in the pace just got faster. It just felt like we were just making huge leaps in the narrative that just weren't super important. And the whole thing with Torvin I like, but still kind of felt distracting to the overall narrative. But uh, either way, I still really enjoyed this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, this was kind of a bare bones look. There's, there is more to this game. There's DLC, which I might play in the future, but I, I, I wouldn't count on it unless you guys want to see it again. Comments below. I, I'll do it. I'll do it for the fans. But mostly I did this game to kind of give us a nice little step or give me a refresher to the story so that when we start Shadow of War on the 10th, uh, we'll be all ready to go. Cannot wait. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll join me for Shadow of War. Uh, but until then, I just want to give a big thanks to uh, Monolith and Warner Brothers Games, all the you know, all the people who worked on this, everybody that you're seeing in these um, these credits, uh, obviously had a big part to do with this game, where why this game was so good. And um, other than that, just tell you guys, thank you so much. As always, find me over on Facebook or the website minds.com. Links to all that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. I, I, I keep saying this, but I really do mean it. Uh, subscription, you know, subscribing to the channel really helps me know that I'm doing well. It, it, it's a good kind of metric for me. But uh, what YouTube is really kind of judging the algorithms on, as far as I can understand it, are in interactions. So that is likes and comments. So I'm not telling you to like the video if you didn't like the video. I'm not telling you to leave a comment. I'm just saying if you did like the video, please, it does mean a lot. If you just if just one more person presses that like button, one more person just leaves me a comment telling me, hey, you liked it. Yeah, that stuff really means means something to me so i would really appreciate it if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the channel that uh, you do that kind of stuff so uh, i'll stop harping you i'll stop you know kind of um uh plugging all that stuff uh although i will plug I, I promise i'll stop plugging things last thing i'm gonna plug before we <laughs> i call this one done is uh my weekly news show that goes live every saturday noon eastern 9 a.m pacific basically i just gather news and i talk about video game stuff and uh have some fun so thank you so much for watching everybody uh like i said social media like comment subscribe i think that's it uh until the next time you see you see or hear from me i'm aj gels this is the Thunder gaming channel and for the last time in Middle-earth, Shadow of Mordor, I'm out.